Welcome to the fifth edition of the Key Two Letter Words program. In this episode, we're going to be taking the C's P consonant, and that is K. We're going to pair it with the vowels to see how many meaningful words that we can get out of it. Without much ado, let's go. So, taking K and then matching it with the various vowels, we get the following two letter words. And that is Ka, Ku, Ko, and Ku. Ka, Ku, Ko, and Ku. What do they mean? Let's take the first one, Ka. Ka simply means to say or to drive to say or to drive for example if i want to say tell him tell him i will say kachreno kachreno that means what tell him so when we say ka it simply means to say or to tell for instance, if I want to say, say it, I will say, ka, ka, that means, say it. It could also mean, to drive, to drive. For example, if you ask me, what's your profession? I can say, I'm a driver, I drive a car. So, in that sense, how will I say that in three? I will say, may I Oshenka for me kaka me oshenka for me kaka that is I'm a driver I drive a car so ka ka means what to drive so that is the first vocabulary let's go to the second vocabulary and that is ko ko it simply means to fight so if I ask what is his profession and probably he's a boxer you could say he's a boxer he fights how do we say that in three how do we say that in three or ye okutrukuboni oko or ye okutrukuboni oko okutrukubofo or okutrukuboni is a boxer Oko, that means he fights. O, is, that is ono, ko. So we get oko, he fights. Good. I think now you've become used to the three pronouns written together with the three verbs. Where the pronoun sometimes lose part of it. And then it's written together with the verb. Yeah. Oye okutrukubo for oko. He is a boxer. He fights. Good. Let's go to the third vocabulary. And that is ko. Ko. I think even as soon as I mention it, you understood what I mean by that. Ko. Ko. That means go. Go. So if I want to say I go to school, then I'll say me ko suku. Me ko suku. Me is me. Then ko go. Suku, that is school. Me ko suku. I go to school. I go to school. So ko simply means to go. To go. If my daughter asks me, Daddy, can I go out to play? And I want to give her the permission to go, I can say ko meaning go let's go to the final vocabulary as far as this lesson is concerned and that is ku 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 means to prune you see when we learned agri we were taught pruning and that is cutting off some of the leaves and branches of a tree yeah it's the same thing 
when you say ku, it means to prune, that is to cut off the branches and the leaves from a plant. Or if it is a crop, a leafy crop or a leafy vegetable, if you take all of the leaves, in tree we say wakuso, wakuso, meaning you've taken everything out of the plant. Waku, wakuso. Good. So when we say ku, it means to prune. For example, look at my hair. Mekuhu. Meku mitirihunina. Meaning, I have pruned my hair. I have taken off every hair out of it. So when you say ku, it means to what? To prune. This is where we draw the curtains down. And I hope as it stands now, you are getting more and more vocabularies. Keep on learning tree with Opoku. And as I've told you, gradually, you will be able to master the tree language to a perfect level. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.